Hello everyone and welcome to Tiny Tuesday, the first one of the year. So happy new year everyone. Already 2024. Let's see how how, how fast this year goes, right? Because you blink and everything goes back quickly in the um in the what it, blink, it up, blink of an eye. So let's say hello to our friends here. Um Miss Liz, Mr. Oh my Mr. Larry, Miss Connie. Mr. Herb, let's see, scroll, everybody saying hello to everybody. Uh, Connie, Miss Yarndall is here. Hello, Miss Dawn. No problem. I'm just reading, saying hello back and forth. Mr. Yarndob, Mr. Le Larry, Mr. Jerry's here. Hello, Mr. Jerry. Let's see who else. Mr. Steve. Miss Connie. Did I say Miss Connie? If not, I say Miss Connie again. You can never be, be, be said hello to more, more than enough, right? Miss Kimberly, pajama quilter is here. Uh, let's see. I, I think that's. Did I miss something? Oh, Miss Miss Kimberly hit her 500 subscribers. Woohoo! Oh, she needs one of these. Hold on, Miss Kimberly needs one of these. Where is he? Where's my woohoo guy? Where did the woohoo guy go? Oh, there he is. Woo 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 yes woo 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 yes. So that's from Miss Kimberly. I, I'm, I, I'm, I'm a little bit of a sorts up right now because I just woke up from a nap. <laughs> I was trying to crochet on my desk earlier, and in, in my I kept on dozing off. So I'm like, I'm gonna go lie down. I slept for about an hour and fifteen minutes, and when the alarm went off, Nancy didn't want to get up. So. That, that I'm I'm still getting up. I got my coffee right there, so we're we're we're, we're getting there. So, huh. Miss Darcy, I, I'm sorry. I, I'm I'm doing it again. I just passed by two different people. Miss Karen, Miss Darcia. Sorry. I'll get up by the by the time I start, you know, using some knives. Don't worry, <laughs> Miss Pam. Be creative. Is in the house. I think that's everybody. If I if if if, if I miss somebody, just say hello again. I'm sorry. Like I said, I I just yes, her. I did say coffee. Oh. Oh, yeah. I still got some, some some residue um hot chocolate in there. Mm. Yeah. What really got me some of those? Quinoa crisp. They're really good. Not bad. Mr. Jerry said, "Hey, Earl." Jerry, Jerry. <laughs> So, so do we want to start the project, or do we want to see Happy Mail? Happy Mail. Happy Mail. Earl says Happy Mail. Darcia says hello. Her no media. Mister Stu says hello. Don says hello. hello. Hello, hello, world. Hi there. 
This ain't happy mail. Hey, Pam. John, you're on doll. Ernie Media. Proud sponsor of Little Treasures by Nancy. Garcia White. Hey. <laughs> well, I got me. I was going to make sure that my address wasn't wasn't showing. Thank you for the snacks, Earl. Well, I got a box from our own Miss Pam. Be creative crafts, and and I'm already I'm already using one one of the one of the items in the box. Oh, uh, guess who? Nancy loves these. Can I unbox my own box? She sent me two boxes of tar of tumbling tower blocks. Got some Christmas stickers. Look, they shine. Do you want to do the unboxing for me? Well, this is your show, honey. Yeah, but you 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 you're, you're having fun. Oh, there's different kind of stickers. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna let Nancy do it. it. Is it a heart? I don't know if that is. These are little little um. It's oh, these little, are it looks like a garland. There was once upon a time Nancy had me search all over the nation for these. Okay, continue, Nancy. Yes. I don't know if I want this on my neck anymore. Why? I don't know. You're 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 too close to my heart. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, these leaves. Can I? He's now he's drinking my water. Oh, that's pretty good. That that that's my water. Okay. Where did you get this cut from? Miss Pam. Hmm. Did everybody see a cute truck on there? <laughs> All right, continue, Nancy. <laughs> <laughs> like it, like a kid with gifts. <laughs> <coughs> These are cool because I've I've needed I've used um uh, fall leaves before, but these are smaller. So for for my smaller projects, sorry for the crinkling. See, they're they're itty bitty. This is per perfect for Friday for Tiny Tuesday. Kimberly says Earl needs a spanking. Please. <laughs> he says Earl. Herb says he's gonna Earl is gonna take my coffee next. He better not. He got his own cup. Stop drinking my water. You gonna give me more water? Give me my water, your water. It's a heart. To be loved by I you. I think it's a garland. Yeah, it's a garland. So I can decorate my decorate my 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 space behind me with, with um a heart garland. Oh, it, it says something. Hold on. It says my. No. It says mommy. <laughs> Look, it says mommy. The little hearts on either end. Oh, where the other heart? I can still put that up right here. It's good for Valentine's and it's good for Mother's Day. Wait, 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 wait. Your friend is the one that made this cup on um, Pam? Ooh. Now, now I definitely need one with, with my logo on it. I thought this was bought. I didn't even look. Oh, that. that is pretty. And you can't feel nothing. It's awesome. Oh, no. Now I want me a sublimation machine. <laughs> no, no, no. We can't do that. About the. the I bought a bunch of those in a lot and was told they were small burlap sacks. So I was a bit surprised when I ended up with a bunch of mommy banners. <laughs> you know what? You can still make some burlap sacks with it. 
like these two on the end, these, you can you can sew them together and make a little a little sack. Oh, it gives me an idea. What? You sew them together like that, and then you could put candies in there, little Valentine candies and little love notes and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. like, oh, we got pumpkin, so I can I can I can decorate my my pumpkin patch next year. Oh, excuse me, it's not next year. It's this year. Hi, Mr. Mike. Sir Mike. And I love Buffalo Chat. Here we got two, two white and two. Oh, look at the little curly cue on top. Oh, look what I found. I found some houses. Those are cute. I got to come up with something with those. Usually, um, I get ornaments from Michael, not Michael's, from Walmart. And I and I turn them into earrings for my sister, but these are a little too heavy for earrings. <laughs> but these are so cute. Let's see what else. My my son took took um I showed him this and he goes he wants this. It's a paint palette. I I think I ha I have some more watercolor paper that he can borrow and, and make some masterpieces with. We got. Ooh, a paper pack. Some paper crafting coming along the way. The, the, um, Mike, that, that's the whole point. My sister likes the, those big earrings during Christmas time. I've made her some big, huge um, uh, ornaments ones. They're, they're about, I, was, I would say about four inches long. I, and and, and I, I, I kept them. Okay. Miss Miss Liz says, "Hit that that thumbs up and share it and show some love. Thank you." She says she'll be back soon. We got that. Those colors are lovely, Nancy. That's what where, where I start. Where Pam says that her friend made the cups. So, um, Miss Pam, you need to share share the link to your your friend because I like the cup. Um, Mr. I, I, I said Mr. Mike, but I didn't say hey, no. hi to Mr. Mike. Hey, Mr. Mike. There we go. We're caught up again. See what else? Two boxes. So I got some ideas. And another little tr truck. But I could easily um paint over that Merry Christmas and he could he could he can um live on my shelf. All year round. And we got bunches of what I like about the stickers is this one here. This last one, it's words. So you can use it as sentiments for on cards and stuff. Where are they? There you go. And they're holographic too. Look at those. Each one of those is, is, is a sticker, so I could decorate with them. We got another little heart. We might, might, might use this tomorrow on the five the, the lot excuse me the crafty ladies over on Dawn Yarn Dolls tomorrow at 7 p.m. There's Miss Candace's website. And these are how you open these. I don't want to break the bag. Oh, it's right on top. Well, excuse me. It looks like an ornament. Oh, there goes the bell. I guess I have to add the bell to to it. Oh, these are cute. this is cute. It's an acrylic Santa. Come on, come on. Oh wow. It had a, has a bell, so I guess you put you hang the bell on it. Let me put the bell back in there. I think that was it. Thank you, Steve. I told you I just woke up. It's only Tuesday, guys. <laughs> oh, God. Can I start the, the day over again? Let me put all this, all this cool stuff back out. Start crafting. Uh, okay. Okay, okay. Put this away. I 
I can make a little Christmas village for next year. Yes, with the little, those little houses. I can make one of my miniatures. Let's see. Is that it? Yeah, that's it, I think. Oh, we got these two. My, my son already took one. They're peppermint spoons. I'm doing your Friday show early. <laughs> yep. I just want to get it out of the way. Let's move on. Let's get this week started. Let's, let's put this. It's just oh, the card. Oh, I, I'm gonna have to come up with something to to because I'm I, I I'm going to do this year. I didn't do it last year. Um, because I have a bunch of greeting cards from from Christmas that I'm gonna turn into different um projects. And wouldn't that be a cool project? It's a Christmas truck. I mean, it's a red truck. Holly, a Christmas tree. <laughs> it's so pretty. Okay, I think that's it. Or did I put something? But oh, that's fun. Thank you, Miss Pam. <laughs> Oh gosh, guys, I am. I don't know why. I, I saw the heart. It's because that's the theme for, for, for Saturday. And um I just I just went there. Yes, I what I, I was I was gonna, you know, put it in my hot coffee today, but um the coffee already um got cold. And and Yes, I, I, I use the same cup I did hot chocolate, okay? And, and I didn't wash it off. My other thing I was doing is I was working on this poncho shawl, I mean, poncho cow thing, whatever, on John's um, New Year's Eve live. And um, I had to rip it out because it, for some reason, it's supposed to, you know, go down this way, but it was going straight down. So I'm not sure what I did, but this is what, what it was supposed to look like, and it wasn't. So I ripped it out. I'm going to do something else. I still have the collar, so we'll see what, what comes of that. And, and I and I ripped it out and made this big giant ball. This is, this is the, a full ball and the rest of that scheme. Cause it was t it was getting tangled up, so that goes over here in this corner. At the end, after we we finish the, the, with the with the craft today, I'm gonna have a little impromptu auction of some of my Valentine stuff. So check, stay tuned for that. So, you guys ready? Uh, let me move some of these guys so that I can move the kitchen. I said kitchen, didn't I? Okay, guys, see you Friday. <laughs> the game room. Nancy, I, I I I was working on the on the, the the brick wall, and Nancy ran out of bricks. No. But Nancy can make more bricks, but I don't have the same color that I used for those bricks, so that. You you would know um, the difference, so I I just made it made it like seem like it, it was on purpose, where I stopped it. I don't know if you can tell. Let's go down there. So what I did, I got a little. Uh, you can see you can see it there. I put a square down. Where is it? One of these guys. Right above the door, so it looks like it's on purpose. So there's the. That's, this is why I, I need the. There we go, the brick wall. It's done. Like I said, I wish I I could have done the. The whole thing, but. It's good like these, because what I'm thinking is right here above. You guys tell me if 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 I should put the sign, over the door. Or centered on that wall. So 
So uh, here's centered and over the door. And I don't know if I want to, um, because the frame is black too and the wall is black. Should I change the color of the wall? Steve says over the door. Miss Kimberly says over the door. Is it okay with the, with the black frame and the black wall like this? Or should I change the, the, the color of the frame or the color of the wall? So we'll, we'll discuss that in a second. And then I finished painting the little stool that we made last week. And it's not. Let, let, let. Hey, Ms. Robin. Let's switch to the upper camera because the upper camera likes to focus better sometimes. So, hi there. You see all my all, all my stuff that's on my desk right now. But we don't need all that showing. So we're going to slowly go down. There we go. And this. Oops. The little bench. And no, I didn't do the other three. The, 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 they're still pieces, still. <laughs> I had so much to do, as I, and I was working. <laughs> you guys know. You guys know. Hold on. My braces are, are, are like stuck on my arm here. There we go. Let's see. Steve says it looks good with the black frame, and so does Miss Liz. So we're going to go over the door with the black frame. Yes, the beaded tassel. There's two of them here, which will be part of the auction at the end. And we're again crooked. Let's not get let's not start the year out crooked. And I'm gonna take this guy out because you you guys know who I am, right? I'm Nancy. Nancy. You don't need to and Miss Darcia said, uh oh. She says she's going in the bushes. So you know what that means. For Miss Darcia and anybody else out there, Adele. Lurking and working. Well, I should do a new video. It says lurkers and workers. No, that sounds bad. So. <laughs> Lurking out there. Who is that? Do, 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 do. Who is that? It's not me. We know who you are, but do you? At this mo moment in time, Mr. Steve, I'm not sure who I am. Is that her nail baby? Yes. Because I'm telling everybody that tomorrow, <laughs> tomorrow is the crafty ladies. <laughs> and Steve goes, that's Saturday. It's Tuesday. <laughs> it's not well, tomorrow's Wednesday. I know. I'm, I'm, talking, I'm thinking, you know, a, a few days ahead. So I, I told him I just woke up. I'm a, I'm a little, um, how you call it? Just disoriented. And, 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 I, and I, I started my calendar, guys. I got some ideas. See, the dry bar. So I'm, see, I, I should be, I should know that that's, this is Tuesday, and that's Saturday. <laughs> but, 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 you know, you know, it's life. But that was a good nap, though. I had to say it. That was a good nap. Oh, I painted this this wall black too. <laughs> Jerry says, "Sounds like Nancy woke, took a nap, and woke up late for the school bus." Don't say school. No school. So we'll do these guys. 
you know, I will. I, I, they'll, they'll, they'll be done before before we finish. Before we finish. So this is going to go over the door. You can't see that, but it's, I'm, I'm holding it over the door. And then we have these guys, the movie posters, that is going to go over the cassette wall. This one's going to be center. This one's going to be centered on the wall above the, the popcorn machine. And then we got two of, of Miss Audrey Hepburn's um, movies that one of her quotes is, is so, go, scrolling up from Mr. By, my, on either side of that one. So that, that these I already know where they're going. And I said that I wasn't putting anything down because I didn't know where anything was going. I'm moving things so, so we can... Oops. But the bar is going to go actually up against the brick wall. Because the, the, the inspiration photo that I have on my thumbnail, I like that. It looked cool on the on the brick wall. I don't think it would look cool anywhere else. So, let's see. So, come on. There's the, the, the shadow. There we go. So, I want to put two shelves up against this wall here. To, you know, put bottles and whatever into it. And then have a, a little... A little countertop sort of thing with um shelves inside too. I'm 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 not sure on the design yet. Um I have an idea, but we'll see how that goes. So there we go. And yes, I keep on saying so. I need a new word. Oh, Mr. Nightbot is reminding people about my website. Here we go. Where is it? Sponsored by Harnell Media, as you saw at the beginning there. Thank you, Mr. Stair. And I did my, my very own first um, um, blog post on my own, and he said I did it okay. Thank you. I'm try trying to do to do more on it. And Miss Maritza, hola Maritza. Yes, Steve the man. And his information is down in the description box below. And we're going to, I'm going to make some shelves. They're going to be eight inches, which is three, six, nine. Well, I'm going to make it nine because I don't, I don't nitpick. Um, so we're cutting this shelf down to three quarters. Oops, you gotta be careful. Just take your time and cut. So, no, but didn't cut. Yes, it's gonna take a while to cut this because it's thick. I have to charge my phone, stay safe, and bless everyone. Good night, Mr. Larry. Thank you for joining us. And I'm, I'm, I'm trying to keep a schedule on my social media stuff, but you know how life is, right? But I, I, I did. This week so far, I did what I was supposed to do. I just have to take some pictures of some items that I want to put on my website. So that'll probably be tomorrow. I'm going to get my light box out. There's small items that need, need some good lighting. Mr. Doug! Paul Barb, Paul Barb, 
the pole barn. Wow, I can't say it. Say it. The pole barn productions. There we go. I had to slow it down. Mr. Dale. Evening, people. People that feel beautiful. People that need to be told they are beautiful. Happy New Year to all. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Dale. <laughs> I'm not sure which one I fall under, under there. I found this, this is an eighth of an inch board, but I found a sixteenth inch board that I would be wrapping the bar with because it's going to be easier to cut than this is so i'm glad i found that piece for the longest that that was a sheet of paper or a piece of cardboard and when i pulled it out i was like no it's a piece of 16 board this is um bass bass board that that i that i buy no is it yeah base bass board is it bass it's not balsa is i think it's bass wood right I can't think now. This is the the board that I used to, to make the angel wings, which is one of the items I need to add to the website. Woohoo! And get that out there as well. The others enjoy. Mr. Billy, hello. And Miss Kimberly saying hello over from Facebook. Thank you, Miss Kimberly. Awesome, awesome. So here's a piece that's eight inches or nine inches deep. So this is now we're gonna measure the width of the opening here or the wall, the brick wall. Actually, I'm not gonna do it the width because that way uh, I don't want to hide too much of the of the brick. Not that it, this is this is just they're gonna look like floating shelves, so I'm going to make them. Uh, this is hard to, to to work on this little thing here. Let's see, the opening is a four and a quarter, so if I do four, I think I'm gonna do three and three and a half. Yeah, three and a half is it's a good size. See, I'm I'm measuring right here, so I was thinking the three and a half is right there. So uh, uh, leave me like a half an inch on either side or so. Three and a quarter. Yeah, it will give me about half an inch on either side. So three and a quarter it is. Let's measure and cut. I should, I should get, get my little saw. I said three and a quarter, right? Um, guys, would you mind if I go outside and get my little saw? Because I can cut that with my little saw. Because I was cutting with the grain over here. It's easier, but against the grain is harder. So I'll be right back. Talk amongst yourselves. I'm going to get my saw. Okay. Yes, get my saw. Oh, it's so tricky out here. Look at her. Thank you. You like the door? I'm going to. Come on, stop. Leave me alone. I, I think I found Jay's um mask. Or somebody's mask. Okay. I got my, my saw. My little cutoff saw. But then we say, we say, hola, Maritza. Yes, hello. Mr. Billy saying hello to everybody else, and everybody else saying hello to to Maritza. Okay, I think that I think we got it. Okay. Oh. 
So, 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 so. I need to, to have a shirt that says so. <laughs> Dale says, Nancy, that watch is huge. Do you have a... Do you have... It's not. It's 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 plastic. It's not, it's it's just plastic. It's nothing heavy. And no, I don't have no huge arms. I had I had a um a smartwatch that, that went with my with my um Samsung, but I no longer have a Samsung, so the smartwatch doesn't work with, with my new phone. This is a, this is a, a a cheap um Timu purchase, but it, but it tracks my 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 steps and my my sleep. I like the stair method, but with, with teeth and no steps. Okay, I'm not sure what that meant. Okay. Let's cut, cut, cut. Let's open, open, open here. Okay, I just keep on testing to make sure I got I got it where I need it. There we go. Nice and tight. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Much easier than trying to use the the blade, huh? Okay. So here we go with two little shelves. Hey, right. there we go. Uh -huh. Miss Kimberly, I got this saw at Harbor Freight. I have one similar link in, in my Amazon shop that's linked in the, in the description box below. But I also have, I'm getting a um, tiny saw for tiny treasures. So I have um, an affiliate link with vivor.com. I have an activated the link yet but um they have the same saw as well and they have a a, a sale plus i have sounds like a cow mooing it does <laughs> now that you say that <laughs> they gave me a five percent discount code Am I, I'm starting the wrong piece. I'm <laughs> duh. I'm like, why is this a difference? Because one is bigger than the other. There we go. Move. Oh, I gotta show you guys um my my one of my new projects that I have on my desk. I'll, I'll show you all those in a second. So, yes, I said that again. Let's get this board out of the way because I don't think I need this one because I'm gonna use a 16th inch. Hi, Mr. Neil. 
I'll show you the difference. Can you see the difference? Not if not not if, not with the camera that low. Hold on. Okay, we got Come on. There we go. The one the one on the right is an eighth. The one on the left is a sixteenth. So it should it, sh it should be easier to cut. So I need to go. These are the two shelves. I think I'm going to do the two shelves with the antique Waverly locks. Let's see. I think I may be able because there's not going to be a lot of weight on this thing because it's just for looks. Because I don't, I don't know. Okay, camera out of my way. Come on, go up. There we go. There we go. There we go. Perfect shot, guys, isn't it? <laughs> Sorry. I'm doing that. There we go. So I want to put one about there and one about here. And it's going to, I'm just going to glue it, glue it there. It, it should hold up just fine. Just the glue. So I'm going to do the antique wax on this and then we'll glue it on and move on to the cabinet. And while, while we move into the cabinet, that's Miss Nati. Miss Nati, I, I still spoiled doll life. Hello. Are you new here, Miss Spoiled Doll Life? If you are, welcome. If you're not, welcome again. <laughs> Miss Nati, I, I still need your address. I have the a stack of um napkins to send you. Where's the They're ready to go. I just need your address. Okay, we're going to. I'm going to stain these little shells. I'm going to glue them on. And then move on to the next step. Oh, you can't even see what I'm doing. Because the camera's in the. Let's get you out of the way. Oh, not a perfect ideal shot for this right now. Come on, back down. There we go. Thank you. First time watching one of your lives, but I've been subscribed for a while now, and I enjoy your content. Thank you so much. Um, Mr. Dale says, Nancy, you, you so need to get a green screen, green screen so you can see inside your creations sewing us around. I've, I've done, um, walkthroughs of my creations, but I think I understand what you're talking about. Cause I've, 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 I've done up close and personal on, on my little miniatures. I've been using antique wax for the last, ever since I started YouTube. Because most of my tumbling tower blocks are stained with antique wax. Thank you, Ms. Nati. Because I want you to enjoy some napkins so you can create with them too. I thought she was about to ask me that question. Liz is asking, are you ready for some snow this weekend? Then she says, naughty. Because <laughs> I'll be like, no, I'm not ready for no snow. I'm okay with the cold, cool weather because right now it's 50 degrees. Spoiled Doll Life's cha channel, doll houses and handcrafted miniatures. Ooh, I need to go over there. Definitely. Thank you, Mr. Steve. Let 
and you you got you got to paint all all the sides too because you don't even though this is up against the wall towards the back it's still there so you want to make sure that you got all the ends. Nati goes, I don't like snow. It's pretty coming down. That's about it. <laughs> Did I say hi to Miss Carmen? If not, hello, Miss Carmen. I think I said hello, but I, I, I may have seen your name and didn't say it. I don't know. Miss Kimberly says, Montana has been too warm this season. I want snow. I'm sorry. I'll say, um, um, Liz. Send some snow to Kimberly. Don't hog it all. Okay? And I'm not using a lot. I'm just... Just using a light coat. Because I still want the... Even though, like I said, you're not going to be right on it. But I I still want the the grain to show through, even though this doesn't have a lot of grain. You know what I mean? Right here. Then we'll this side right here. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, we almost forgot this side. And Ms. Liz says she doesn't want any snow either. She just hopefully it's just a trace. Have you guys had snow this um this season? And Spoil Doll Life says they woke up to snow yesterday in Pittsburgh. Oh boy. And Carmen says, I'm with Liz. I don't want snow either. See everybody else is saying hi. Hold on, let me take. Where's my phone? I heard a buzz. I was gonna. Oh, there it is. Okay. <clears throat> okay. We will, we got that part already. And Carmen says no snow. We might get traced this weekend in eastern PA and eastern Pennsylvania. Okay. There we go. These guys are semi dry. So we're going to go get some. I'm going to use the wood glue for this piece. I'm going to have to switch the the camera because the the box is is um hiding what I'm working on. I'll just move this camera over here, and I know when I do this to move it back, it's it's a pain in the butt because it's broken. So we'll deal with that later. Get this out of the way a little bit. My sleeves. Okay. I got a little, where is it? I had a little T square. Oh, I can use this one this one. So I'm gonna use my ruler to this line is straight here, so we're going to line it up here and make sure that the shell is straight. But I need to know about how high. How high is the shelf behind the bar? Four feet? Let's see. Behind. Bar. Oh, height. Okay, 
Here we go. Two shelves here, and they are. You're not helping me, people. They show me the, the where the, the the size of the shelves and the width of the shelf and the total height, but they don't give me what size is the first shelf. That that was not helpful. Let's go to images. Let's see. Are you guys telling me? Let's see. Are you guys telling me? Nancy, I promise not to do any math tonight. Thank you, Miss Dawn. These are the leftover bricks that, that I use for my the bedroom. And I use also use them in the library. But um when I came here, I thought I was gonna be able to do the whole, but it 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 didn't, it wasn't enough. So I improvise. Okay, let's go, let's go over here. Um here we go. The height P. What's P? Drink shelf height 42 to 45 inches. Oh, the the this one here. This is the one I'm T. T the the back bar wall shelf height is 60 inches. So five feet to the first one. Okay, here we go, guys. Five feet to the first one. Okay. Where's it's dark. This box hides all the all the um the light from the from the big other big light. There's a pencil. Okay. And five. Let's go over here because I'm, this is where I'm going to be measuring from. Well, that's too high, isn't it? I'm going to go four and a half. Even though they say five. Because five is way up here. So the, shelf, the first shelf will be up here. So I, won't, I, I would only be able to do one shelf. Or should I do four? What do they say is that for over here? Uh, mm, 48, 48. They don't have anything at 48. Oh, the bar height is 42. I would say 48. I'm going to do it four feet because I want to. Right? I can do that, right? So four feet is right where this brick is right here. So we're going to put this here. Let's turn it the other way. This is very, very scientific, guys. Yes, I know. There we go. I'm not a crafter. I just play one on TV. Okay, glue. Come on. See, that's why why I squirted onto the. Why is it not? Is it not open all the way? Let's see. I need some pliers. Hi, Miss Sandra. Nope. <laughs> Don't do that at home either. I just pulled out the whole thing, but I don't see anything in there that's causing it to. Ew! Ah! I just did that and ruined the whole thing. So I need to figure out how to get that back down in there. Oh well, this is fine. <laughs> We're just gonna. You guys didn't tell me I didn't. I didn't paint that backside, did you? Let's, let's do that now. I, 
I'm going to have to fire you guys. You're supposed to be my, my, my quality control people. And you're not doing your jobs. Oh, my goodness. She sounds so harsh. Well, they're, they're not, you know, making sure that, that all the dots are crossed and the P's are, are whatever. P's. <laughs> I can't even remember what it's called. What is all the dots are dotted and the T's are crossed. There we go. There's nothing about no P's in there. Mr. Xander. Woo, he's slashing. My brain hurts, so I'll be lurking. I am so sorry. I hope your brain um, gets better. I'm so sorry, Mr. Alexander. With 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 all that family, I I I can I, I can imagine why. There we go. I'll go over here, and and yes, my bricks are are not lined up I, I i didn't think to to line them up but that they were all lined up at one point at one point let me go get some some little blocks to hold this this guy up while it dries where are the blocks oh we can use you we can use you while we do that there we go Says most of the bricks were, were cut the same. I thought they were gonna be the same, but they're not. He was modding a channel that had that had, was doing a game. I had to count. I'm so sorry. So I'm gonna move this out of the way and put this here to hold that one up so that it doesn't come this way. Now we're gonna go. I, I I don't drink, so I don't know how, how big bottles are. So how tall are bottles? Is 12 inches good enough space in between the, the shelves? I'm assuming. I don't know. So that would be, make it around there. Or should I make it a little bit higher? Than, than 12, just in case. I'll make it a little bit higher than 12. That way there's room to move bottles and stuff. I don't know. Like I said, I don't drink. And I want, I want it somewhere above that brick. So I'm going to move it up a little bit more. And I think that's... I got stuff all on my fingers. It wouldn't be a craft without stuff all on my fingers. Glue, paint, you name it. I'm gonna stay in there. We need another piece of wood. Or is this one? I, I, are you okay with, with me share, sharing you over here? There we go. Not only is that holding it up, it's also keeping it 90 degrees from the wall. From the, the wall. So I'm. Um, Bring that over there. We're going to let it sit and let it dry. Is it even from one to the other? Okay, that is even. So before Nancy makes a mess with the, like she did that, that one time, we're going to close it. 15 inches would do. Yeah, I did it um about 16 inches. So that way um you could get bigger bottles or... or that not necessary bottles. You could you could put the core up there. You could also put games up there. This is a game room. So since we're here right now, let's put on up the game room sign. So this is three feet right. So that's the center. The center of the three feet is what? One and a half? Where is the one and a half? Oh, there it is. I lost it. It is, it is three feet. Oh, it's, it's a little shy of three feet. Shh, don't tell anybody. It's probably not the code. I'm sorry. 
There we go. And this is four feet. So the center of this will be two feet. I say two feet, four feet. Um, I'm, I'm building a one to 12 scale model here. So every inch is actually one foot in real life. So that's why I say, when I say two feet, four feet, this is not actually four feet, <laughs> four inches. You know what I mean? And this I can use my regular art glitter glue because it's just cardboard on cardboard. Big cardboard. The first item, well, actually, the, the shells were the first item that, that's been glued down. But the first actual, whatchamacallit, let's see, where's the, where's the little mark? Oh, I lost the little mark. Hold on. Oh, let's turn that around real quick. I had the little mark. Where did it go? Right there, more than there we go. Your notifications what well, um get get with um with YouTube and and beat them with the wet noodle. Miss Tank. Hi Miss Tank. Here we go. We're gonna see I, I, I borrowed that that piece over there and, and it fell. So we're gonna I'm just holding this here because I wanted this to be even with the top of this door. So that can move back over here. And I think it needs more glue. So let's get more glue on it. There we go. Put that there. Put that there again. I'm just following where, where the line, well, I should I should grab this. Just in case. There we go. And then bring this up to here. There and there. Get back over here. I won't take you away next time, okay? You can stay right there with your buddy. I'm talking to pieces of wood, guys. Ah, I need a are you set? No, he's not set, but we need we need you over here with your buddy over here. And I moved it, so now it's not gonna be straight. Okay, take your time, take your time, take your time. There we go. That's straight now. Okay. Press down a little bit. Okay, we're gonna leave it alone. Let's see who else has come in while I was talking to my to to the pieces of shelving. Yes, I was talking to shelving. Uh, we we saw Miss uh, Miss Tank came in, and I love I love this um quote from Audrey Hepburn. For beautiful eyes, look for the good in others. For beautiful lips, speak only words of kindness. And for poise, walk with knowledge that you are never alone. By Audrey Hepburn. And this is my other favorite one from Maya Angelou. I've learned that people will forget what you said. People will forget what you did. But people will never forget how you made them feel. <laughs> okay, Tank. Everybody's saying hello back to and Mr. Herb is back. Mr. Herb, Mr. Herb, he's back in town. And everybody's saying hello to everybody. Okay, hurry, current content comment. There we go. Okay, we're gonna leave it alone while it dries up. We got the sign, it's already dry. I know it's not even from here to there, but that's uh, that's how I want it. Okay. Then we'll, we'll, the space over here for our other like a, oh, a Coca Cola sign, one of those round ones, these like the one I have on my wall. 
Hmm. Okay. This one goes over here. There we go. Okay. Yeah. I need something. To, okay. This is going to have to go back over here because I need something flat or it doesn't move. Okay. They're, they're there drying. Okay, now we go to get the glue out of the way. Mm -hmm. How are you doing the bottles? I do not know yet. <laughs> I, I've seen some some people do some bottles with with caps and stuff of, of, of other um, things, but we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out as I go. Or I can I can use some oversized bottles because I do have because these are Coca Cola bottles, but they are not to scale because these are actually if, if they could they could be um they're supposed to be glass glass bottles you know the 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 personal glass bottles but they are an inch tall so that means that these glass bottles are a foot tall. So they're they're not to scale, but I still I had them in my kitchen. Oh, I was gonna get the get whatever the what I have some lemonade drinks over here in my kitchen. Let's see where are they? Oh, they're oh they're in the fridge. Hold on. Okay, let's see. We can open the fridge over here and. There they are. Okay. I'll get, I got them. I got them. There they are. I don't know if they may be too tall or too small. Who knows? But we, we got some cups. We got some lemonade drinks. I have complete confidence in you. Mm -hmm. But we have, let me get his little brother. We have those. Come on. Lemon slices in it. Aren't that cute? And it, and it, I don't know if you can, it's all, it also has a little straw. Uh, there you, it's hard to tell. Right there's a straw. It's an EB straw. I think the straw is a little too long, but that's fine. But the, these are glass. Look, ready, ready. They're glass cups. So we, we got our first drinks for our, um, which one call it? Okay, the height of a bar is a bar bar height. Where's the bar height? P. Drink shelf to the top of no, no we, we didn't do that. Um, S. S is is back bar height, and the fr front is what? R. R. Is bar height. I want to show you guys what I'm looking at. So you, this is the I found this on 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 what you call it on Google, and that's what I'm using. It gives you all the different heights and uh, to use. Hold on, can I can I zoom this in? Okay, can, can I do that? There we go. So that's what I'm using to get some ideas. So the bar height is R, which is 42 inches. And the width, they have it between 18. No, where is it? The C, the bar depth, 18 to 24. I'm going to make it two feet. So we, the height is 42 by two feet. So that's what I'm going to do. 42. Again, we got, I'm using the, the eighth inch because it's a lot easier to cut. I mean, the 16th inch. Hello, Miss Drini. Hello, Miss Kelly. I bring it every day. Did I, bring, did I miss anybody else?
Okay. Alexander's waving at everybody else again. I can't math today. Three and a half feet for the height. Oh, you know what? I, I was going to make the frame first from these quarter inch dowels. And then we're going to wrap it with this. So they said three and a half inch for the height. So we, can I draw on this? No, we can't draw on that. But I'm thinking of doing, getting a sheet of paper first. You would think Nancy will have a plain piece of paper somewhere nearby, but Nancy, oh, here's 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 some post-its. This is a crude drawing. I'm trying to make a frame, right? So we're gonna do this frame, like that, like that, like that, and then the leg back here, right? And probably bring it out here. So these will be the quarter-inch dowels all the way around. To make the frame and then i'll get this and i'll cover it up and then maybe we'll, we'll do some designs on it or something but we're going to do the and then from this side over here is going to be open so it's going to be covered on three sides and this side over here is going to be open my picasso does anybody want to, to me to sign it and and, and pay a million dollars for it yes <laughs> so we're going to do the four legs at three and a half and then we'll go from there right what are you getting what are you getting Nothing. Nothing. hey he 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 how you call it and here here's my little saw again I'm tightening, tightening it up because um, it was at. You put the beans away. I will. Thanks. Thank you. Look, he gave me a piece of his panettone. Chocolate chip. It is chocolate chip. That's right. Did you buy a new one? The box that, that we got the last time is chocolate chip. Yeah, it was chocolate chip. Oh, you got this today? Oh. Ah. I thought it was I thought it was um, the the one that you had a few days ago. Yeah, that's long he said that was long gone. And I'm doing this so I can line these up more or less. Measure. I had this little guy outside on the porch because I was I was cutting some stuff and Earl was working, so I didn't want to bother him. <laughs> you need to paint the paint white spots on your on your saw and call it a cow saw. <laughs> Don't 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 um how you call it don't dare me I will put 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 some dots on it <laughs> I, I I never thought that it sounded like a cow before until some someone mentioned it here oh, where's the there it is.
always bring it down first and you don't want to cut and then be in the wrong spot. <laughs> and always wait till it stops before you get near it. Right, sir? So, 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 you, we we gave your sister some bean soup, and she gave you a panettone. Oh, she was so sweet. No, oh, that was so nice. My sister loved me. She bought me a panettone. <laughs> <laughs> oh my! The last one. Well, this is, this is the legs. Steve says he double dog dares you. Steve says I should paint white dots on my saw and call it a what does it call it? Call it a cow saw. Because Miss Darcia said that it sounds like a cow when I cut. And then I said, um, don't dare me. And Miss Tank says Steve, Steve says he double dares you. <laughs> Okay, and that's the last of that little board. I got this um, wooden dowel at um, Home Depot this past weekend. We went to Home Depot and we went to Walmart. Yay! Oh, I don't know if I showed you what, what I what I got at Walmart at fifty percent off. I wish I would have stayed, but went today because I think it's seventy five now. But you know, they say usually that. If you wait, they won't have it. So I'm gonna measure the width of that opening, so because I, I, I want the the cabinet to be at, at least that wide. So I'm gonna, I'm over here measuring the opening. I think it, I think I'm gonna. Okay, it's four and a quarter. So I'm gonna make it four feet. Four feet. So um, if I take a quarter off from the legs, because I, I want to do, excuse me, Saul. I want to build it like this with, the, with these guys in between the legs. So we're going to go. And our CSS should be right back. We'll be right here as long as the internet um, behaves, we'll be okay. So if we take that away, and we want the cabinet to be four. Let's see. Again, uh, this 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 is me being being ma mathematical, okay? That's four. So over here is what I need to do. go here and take half an inch off. So it's going to be three and a half. That's 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 spooky because the 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 legs are three and a half, aren't they? Yeah, is that spooky? So we need two of these for the long side, and actually four because we need for the top and we need it for the bottom. But you only need three because you need it for the, the two tops, right? And then the front bottom, because the back bottom is going to be open. So let's do that. Okay, I'm going to cut, cut that two more times. I got, do I have a dauber? I probably have a dauber somewhere. I have white paint. We we might we might turn this guy into a a cow saw. <laughs> never, ne never seen a cow saw before, have you? So while we put the legs together and, and let it dry, <laughs> we're gonna paint some dots. Okay. These are the legs, right? So we don't need that. So we need this and this. 
and it's going to be two feet. So I need to cut this one at an inch and a half since these are half inch. Because so you see, the, these are go like this on either end of that, like that. So if I want, if I want the outside to be two feet, so an inch and a half for these guys. And I need, I need for the top and the bottom. So I need four of them, inch and a half for them. And the, I, I, yeah, I read, I, I just read that. The CSA should be a right box. I, I wait for the saw to stop because one time I almost didn't, and, and it and it got it got uh, a piece of my my nail. Lucky um they, they weren't this short, so they were more like this, like this these here, and they got the tip of one one of them. So I wait. I I I have um nowhere to go, so I I I can I can wait. <laughs> I don't need my finger cut. <laughs> This is a sharp, very sharp saw, and since it's it's one of the it's newer because I, I just bought it this year because the other one that I had died. But um, understandable since I've 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 cut over two thousand blocks with it over the last couple years when I had it. So. I had to get a new one. And this is actually the third one because the second one, <laughs> the second one didn't have the, the, the motor. Um, didn't want to. The how you call it? The wheel, the blade didn't want to turn, so we had to take it back and get a new one. And they were good about exchanging it. No biggie about that. And I want to get um, there's someone on on YouTube that's made a little table for this, where if I want to make like I said inch and a half um, pieces, it moves back and forth uh, a little. How do you call it? I, I I have the word in my head. I just can't remember it right now. But I, I have to um, get some wood for, for that. And, it, and, it's, and it's still not, um, how do you call it? Not big once you put the little table on either. He's just perfect. The other, the other one I had, I had um, some popsicle sticks here. With with um with a uh, Jenga block that I hot glued, and depending on the width of the, of the piece I wanted to, if I wanted to do a whole bunch of them, I I would put hot glue the the Jenga block, cut all the pieces, and then I can pop the Jenga block off. But I haven't done that with this one here because I want to make that little table. It's this this exact same exact machine so. It's pretty cool. Okay, one more. Grab this one. Excuse me, sir. Get out of the way. Thank you. Mr. Earl has gone to bed. So if you see hear any any weird noises, Mr. Earl's probably snoring. It's not a bear. One more. I almost hit the Pac-Man machine. Get out of the way. But I have a new machine coming soon. 
I can't see what it is yet until I get it. I may need some help from the people in the, in the chat to work it. No, it's not a scroll saw. I wish it was, but they didn't have scroll saws. Okay, I'm just sending the edges because um, it has little pieces of the sawies behind. Okay, I think we have all the pieces here, right? The four legs. Wait a minute. I need a third, third one of those. Because I had the four legs, and this is the top. I need the one for the bottom. The one for the bottom. Let's do that real quick. Nightbot reminding you about my website. I'm gonna have to come up with with a new with a new sale because um the clearance sale ended on Sunday and no one took advantage of it because I had clearance sale items and then you could get 15% off of it and, and so we'll have to come up with another um, deal for you guys and here's my website. Sponsored by Hard Nail Media. So we're going to get these are the four legs. So we put those to the side for now. Actually, for not really because I need them. So we do, do this here and do this here. Oh, how how is Nancy going to do this? Because that's going to go like that. That's going to go like that. That's going to go like this. And then the legs go up and down from there. Okay, we'll figure it out. That side had a little. These these edges need sanding. This is the one for the bottom. Now, it's interesting how how from the same piece of wood you get two different shades. Let's get the this guy over here again, because I'm just gonna sque squeeze some glue out. Again, it won't. It won't. So we're going to open it up and just take some out. For some reason, it doesn't want to come out when I want it to come out. We're going to put some in here. I may I may switch this to the, the Dollar Tree bottles because the Dollar Tree bottles are, are easier to squeeze the bottles. Okay, we need, we need some stuff to keep these guys standing up. Let me get my little, my little, my little, where's my little rulers, little rulers, here we go. Got my little baby ruler. Because I'm going to be using it to go like this, so make sure these guys, so I'm using, let me get you guys closer. Get a little closer and turn the camera. There we go. I'm using the grid on the mat to keep it 90 degree somewhat. <laughs> right? So we're going to put some glue on the end of the leg here. Not too much because you don't want... Less is better. Again, put that there. Put that there. Oh, that didn't just happen. My sanding block just fell on top of my glue.
Thank you, Sandy Block. Oh gosh. Get over there so you can dry. Bad boy. Let's do this again. Leg. Glue. Okay. Line it up. Line this up. Okay. Make sure that they're 90. Okay. This way. Ah. Oh, you know what? Lay it down, Nancy. This way. That way I know I can see that it's 90. You guys are probably screaming, yes, Nancy, do it that way. Not standing up, duh. No, that's not a leg because the legs are over here. Hold on, let's grab this piece. There, like that. Ah, bring this one down. Come on, come down. There we go. There we go. Yay, we got that one. No problem. Thank you, Miss Dawn. Okay. And then we put this one over here. Ah, glue all over the place. And we put this one here. Okay, good. Then this piece goes in between here because this is the, the front frame. Any woodworkers out there? I'm sorry if I'm doing what I'm, what I'm doing is wrong. This is how Nancy builds. There we go. Make sure this one, that's square over there. Okay, I'm not, not square there. Yeah, get over here. I'm going to see if my little clamps are big enough for this to hold this guy in. Oh, you're not seeing what I'm doing. So I'm going to see if it holds my, that guy in. Clamps, where are you? I need two of you. Let's see, they're wide enough. And barely. Oh, can I get them in there? There we go. Just barely wide enough. Oh, wait, look. We'll make sure that these are square again before I clamp the other one. Oh, nope, they're not square. Hold on. Let's grab. Move that one up. Come on. I'm hope I'm I'm, I'm entertaining you guys enough today because this is an interesting job today. I'm going to open my, this to the widest. There we go. It's not 100%, but it will do. Okay. Ta-da! So we, we, we can slide that over. Excuse me. Thank you. There you go. Right there over my logo. <laughs> and this one is also the same, but it, it, there's no no bottom. 
So we're going to do that. And then these will connect this piece to that piece. I'm hoping. That's, that's what's in my head right now. I need another clamp. Hey, where are my clamps? Who's doing my clamp? Hmm. I had four. Where are you? Let's see. In my desk. Um, well, well, I got up, and Nancy now has to dehydrate. So I'm going to play my intermission, and I'll be right back. few more seconds to it <laughs> I'm back guys hello miss Connie okay um I do not have my other clamp so we're gonna just wing it I'm not sure where it went Somewhere on my desk, but that's fine. We're gonna put glue on this end and glue on this end. Okay, we're gonna line it up here. And put that there. Oh, that's too much glue. There we go. And put this one here. Let's put go up to where the we got more glue on the back. Okay, there and there. Okay, even it up. Okay, then this one over here. I might be able to get the clamps off of the other one to put it on this one. But for now, we're going to do... Ta-da! So, while those are drying, we're going to paint some spots. Let's see how, how we can, I can move... Hold on. Move this guy over. Slide this one up. Ah, I should have waited... Oh well, let's do that up here. There. Come on, where's the line? There. Slide that over a little bit. Okay. We're going to paint some spots. Let's see if I can do. That's gonna be a weird angle because um those guys are there. So I'm going to get my, do we want big spots or small spots? I, I do have, where's where is one of my daubers? Do I have a dauber? No, I don't have a dauber, but ha ha, I have this. So we're going to put paint and go like that. So let me get my, my chalk paint. That's the only way I have. Okay. 
Okay. Because I use the lid as, as a paint holder. The lid sometimes gets glued shut, so I gotta open it a little bit. That didn't work. A little bit more. Ow! That hurt. Mm. That's really stuck on there. Hold on. Let's try again. There we go. It worked this time. Okay. I definitely need some more paint because these are getting dry. too thick and too dry. So let's check that a little bit. I'm going to dump some in here. Yes, I am painting bot spots. Because why not? I'm using my acrylic roller that I use for my clay. I'm going to put some paint on it and dab it. Because you don't want too much paint. Hold on a second. There we go. They're going to be irregular, like a cow, right? So let's, um, let's dust. I may, I may have to get smaller circles. There we go. Mm. Yeah, I may need to get a smaller circle. Because there's uh, race areas here. Not to say she'll be right back. We'll be right here too when you get back. And where is my... I didn't use all my wipes, did I? I guess I did use all my wipes. Or they're just some not where, where I can see them. So acrylic block, you're going to stand right here in attention. And I'll wash you later. Hmm. I wonder if these will work better. They don't have to be big, big, big dots, right? Just semi big. And I tell you, my paint is not very um, user friendly right now. Let's go with it. Let's go with it. Nope, that's not going to work. That, that looks icky, icky. I need better paint. Sorry, guys. I was going to put dots, but... Hold on a second. Do I have some? I'll be right back. I need to have something that I can use. And you can sit right there while you dry. Hi, Crystal. Hook that yarn. Hello. Let's see. Let's see. What happened? Are you white? Yes, you are white. Ha ha ha. There's more and more, more than one way to do something, right? Now I have to find where I put it. You guys see my, my little one inch paper punch? It was on it was on my desk the other day when I was rearranging. You know what happens when you re rearrange, right? Things get moved. Come on. Ah, I may have to just. It's not on here, is it? No. Hmm. If I want a paper punch. Where would Nancy hide me? Paper punch, paper punch, where would I go? Nowhere, you know, 
There it is. I found it. Let's see if this works. This is. This is um vinyl. Oh, oh, I did, I did cut it. Let's see how it looks. This is a one inch paper punch. Um, I need something to pry this out. Scissors should do it, right? People are probably thinking, I, I thought this was a miniature show. Tiny Tuesday. What are we working on? Well, Nancy's waiting for, for the frame to dry up. And Mr. Steve, um, according to Tank, Double Dog dared me. Oh, that hurt. I touched the blade. Let's get this paint off. That'd be fine. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna... to... That paint all over me. The nerve. So I'm getting this vinyl that I got from Dollar General. Not the best, but it works for what I need it. Come on. Let's go, let's go up higher. That way you can see more of the the magic. <laughs> can you use, you know, boxes from Dollar Tree, the boxes you, you buy from Christmas to wrap presents at the, the bottom as, as cardstock? I haven't, I haven't gotten those, so I don't know. Anybody, anybody in the chat? I've gotten those boxes from Dollar Tree. What are you planning on doing? That's another thing. God, this is hard. That's why the circle didn't cut all the way through. See how it's a little misshapen on this side? Let's see if it did cut the the, the vinyl. I'm going to hold it right here and lift it there. Hold it and lift it. There we go. We got a spot, guys. No, no, we didn't. Like greeting cards? Are they big enough? Here's this first spot. Did I did I grab the wrong piece? I I grabbed the wrong piece, guys. This is the piece that that sticks. So we're gonna go here. And move that up. Here's this first spot. Just rub it. There we go. One spot. Okay. I'll, I'll do that later. <laughs> Cards are not that not that um not that thick. Cause it uh hold on. Do I have a card nearby? Hold on. Uh oh. That got stuck to the, to the table. Let me get my little spatula. Lift it up. There we go. Let me look for a card real quick. Reading cards are not that that um that thick. This is this is a a card that you have to fold to, to um make a into a card into a thing get a two, and that's what it, what it feels like. 
what 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 makes these cards stronger is the more layers that you put on top here makes this um the card stronger and then you got the, the two layers now but th this is this is an actual card stock for for cards i hope that helps okay let's get this frame out of uh, over here Did I say hi to Sandra? If not, hello, Sandra. How you doing, Miss Sandra? There's, there's this guy here. And it's pretty solid. Are you pretty solid? I think he's pretty solid. Not, not too solid, but once we put all these pieces together with these guys, we should do it. We should be okay. So how do I do this? Stand this up like this and then add these pieces. Top and bottom, and then add that piece. Okay. We still, got glue. we still got glue here, so let's get some glue here. Or should I do it like this? I think I should do it that way. Because this one's still, is still a, a little, since it doesn't have a bottom, it's not that 100%. Hi, Mishi. These clamps, they came in a pack of four from Timu. <laughs> So we're going to get some glue, get some glue. She's headed home. Well, drive safely. Actually, let's do, let's see if, if they'll let me stand it up without making it fall apart. I don't want to touch the legs. I'm, I'm trying to turn it from the base here. There we go. There we go. We got it. We got it. The leg is still, is still loose. This one is still loose. Like it, it moved on me. So. Yes, I keep on saying so. This is something that I didn't realize. I said a lot. My earrings. Why my earrings fell? We don't want that to, to get lost. I want to get old brush for some glue. So we're going to do it here and here. A bit more here. A little bit more there. And over here, we need it on the end of this guy. Put that right there. Okay, again, we're using the grid to line up these sides here. Something is not right because something's leaning, but that's fine. We'll cover it up with a with with some um. See this leg here, how it's moving? Because it's not glued yet. So before I do that, I need to get make sure that this guy is solid. Because it's it's not that's why 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 it's um it was um not right because it wasn't glued on right. So let's put a little bit more glue. Again, put it on the frame. I'm in the grid here and put that there. Okay, and get my my clamp. <laughs> I 
Okay, Kimberly. <laughs> Lately, when I'm talking, I realize that when I'm doing um, lives, that, that I've noticed myself saying it a lot. I, I do not, I didn't realize that, that I said it a lot before. So I'm just moving these legs out a little bit there. While these guys sit up. Okay, let's. Um, Let's go check on the book, the, the shelves. So let's sw switch cameras because that's going to take a couple minutes. I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to rush those legs. Hello again. Hi. And the camera's lower because the, the, the arm is broken. And when I bring it down, it does all, all, all kinds of stuff like that. So this is the earring that fell, so I need to put it back before I I don't know where it is and then I don't have a mate. Okay, I don't think I need this saw anymore today, so let's get them out of the way. Excuse me, saw. We'll we'll, we'll put more spots on him. I, I I'll take I'll share a picture on my community tab of my cow fell. Okay. Sleeves sleeves up. We're getting into it now. No, I'm just, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Today. Okay. This has been drying, right? So let's move this over here and move you back without there we go. Just set there right there. And they're supposed to be Four of you. Where, where's the other two? Where do the other your other two friends go? There you are. You guys stay there. You guys stay here. And this one. Lower, lower. There we go. And this was just there to hold the shelf up while it dried. Same thing with that one, and it's it's pretty solid for what a shelf is on a little miniature. So let's stand them up. It, there it is. Yay! So this, since since this is the 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 size of the of the bar, we can use this for a second. So I'm gonna put it. Somewhere like this, so that, that 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 shelf is a little low. Oh, oh well. The the bar would be like some somewhere like this. I'm not gonna glue it down yet until I do the flooring. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna wait till that little piece dries and then we'll cover it up and see. This one's a little loose, but in time it'll it'll, it'll dry up. But I think I definitely need one of those zoom cameras. There it is. That's what it looks like. I can put that right there. Okay, what time is it? Ten o'clock already. Oh no, guys. Are you okay with going in another 30 minutes or so? I didn't mean to make it that long. Where's the 16th inch board? Right here. Well, while that piece is drying, we're going to start covering this piece here. So, all I'm going to do is just put it on top and trace it. Go here. Okay. 
So if there was something else to watch, you would leave me, huh? Is that it, Robin? Good night. Let me cut this piece. Start wrapping the, the bar. Yeah, it moved. I hate when that happens. Let's try that again. I'm trying to hold that blade, that ruler down. Night, Alexander. He says, night all. Stay safe, Santa to me. Got to go deal with things. We got lives, don't we? There we go. This will cover that piece. It's a little off here for some reason. I, I could probably do, do some... Um, there we go. It works better this way. Ta-da. 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 And I can um, I can glue this on. Cause I'll put the sides on afterwards. So we get we 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 got it. We got it. We're gonna put some glue around the edge here. I might I might cut cut some pieces out to make um a design on, on the on the front here with some other pieces of wood to make it like a raised cabinet look okay let me make sure that I have it on the right side yeah that's it Okay. And for this one, I can use my little clips. Where's my clips? Here it is. I'm running out of clips. I need to buy, get some more. And by clips, I mean this. <laughs> oh, that one's not big enough. Darn it. What do I have? Some big ones. Hold on. Go back in there. Let me get. Oh, I can just pre press something heavy on it. Let's see. No, you're not heavy. Yeah, you're pretty heavy. There we go. Just press something heavy on it. 
make sure that's even. That's a little bit off here, but I can I can probably fudge it later. I'll just slide this over, okay? And let's check on this little guy. Let's move it to the other camera again. There we go again. Hi there. See? Now, you see, I'm, I'm pulling up, pulling away from this, and it's pretty tight. So now we can, we, we can work, stand them up. Stand them up, stand them up, stand them up. Like that. Grab. No, that's not the legs. I mean, there's... There you guys are. Well, I don't know why you're hiding. No one told you to hide. And I think that there's a. I don't know. My, my board is like bubbly there for some reason. I think it may, may it may be just me. So we go that put that that piece there, right? And then the, this piece goes right over here. So I'm trying to see which is the best way to do this. Okay, that way. For some reason, these things are these little things are not square. So I'm trying to make them even on, on the outside. Okay. Let's move you guys this way. There we go. Gonna line this up. Where's my here you guys you can stay you can help me here. There we go. Thank you. Okay. Ah, I didn't see a move. Yes, again, I'm I'm talking to my to to, to my pieces of, of material here. Go line this up like that. Other piece. Okay. And this one goes over here. And line it up. Magic. <laughs> it's not magic, it's glue. <laughs> now we're going to put some glue on this section over here, right here, and right there. Okay. Can I? I think I could clamp it. Hold on. Let me close it up a little bit. Push it there. Come on. Push the slide up. I need it bigger than that. A little bit bigger. There we go. Excuse me. Thank you for, for for standing in for us. So I was carefully putting it there. And then carefully. We don't want to do it too much because this is, we need to put the other board, this guy up here. Oh, I, I might be able to do that now. Hold on. Because I just have to. Even though I don't have the claps. Okay. Just trying to make it even. Well, you have to be even with flush with the with the bottom here because you're gonna have that panel on the side. And the there we go. So that's next one. Let's see. 
a little bit bigger. Excuse me. Let's put this there and carefully close it. Okay, not too much. There we go. Let's just to hold it in place while the pieces dry. I'm going to put this piece up here. Make sure it's flush on the outside because we're going to put that piece of, piece of wood on the side. I wish I had those other clamps. Okay, maybe I can search around real quick while those those bottom are, are, are dry. I know I used them. Did I use them on? They're somewhere, somewhere out there. No, those are beads. I don't think it was it in here. No, they're not there. They're probably right under my nose. You know what I mean? That happens all the time. Right under my nose. Then I put them up. Oh, yes, they are right under my nose. They were towards the back of well, from one. The other one back here? Oh. I found one. Well, oh, one is better than nothing, right? Is it on the, did I put it in the wrong drawer? That could, that could be a pop. Found it! I found my other two clips. There we go. Later, folks. Thank you, Mr. Hurt, for joining us. And this one lost the little, the, the little cover there, so just be careful there. Uh oh, this one's wanting to hold on. Turn, turn. It's wanting to turn here, and we don't want that to turn that way. Okay. So where's my little ruler? It's not standing straight. We want it to stand straight. Like this. Put it here and push it out until there we go. There we go. Okay, now we're gonna clap this one. Here we go. It's only for a couple minutes. Oh, that one. That one didn't want to stay. I think it's because of that that missing piece. Little little grippy grippy thing is missing from this side. So let's start it again. There we go. Make sure that I'm using this as a square because I don't ha have anything big enough, small enough to, to be a square. But a little, a little. There we go. Why, why are you moving? No one asked you to move. There you go. Okay. Anybody have any questions, comments, reactions? Oh, I was gonna talk to you. I, I was I went on YouTube, you know, where you find things to, that, that that can help you. And this lady, Simply Stella TV, which is the same lady that I watched, or chat, excuse me, it's a lady, same channel that I watched to make the the record player in my library. She used, believe it or not. boxes for flooring she cut the um the strips and, and you know with the whatever width that you wanted the, um the flooring so i'm going to be doing six inch strips and she made it look like wood she just all she did was used um waverly um antique wax on it after she double-sided taped it to the floor and that's what i'm, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do six inch, six inch um, planks. 
would you like me to would you like to see it being done or do you want them just to just to appear one day with the floor done give me a thumbs up if you want me want to see the floor being done because i'll be working on that next week miss liz says yes so what i'll do is I'll cut all the strips so you don't have to see me here cut 20,000 strips. And then we'll we'll do the installation next week. And I'm hoping to have the other three stools as done as well. And um one of the items that we need to do is 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 the pull down screen for the projector which means i have to do some type of frame above the living room excuse me game room because i need the projector to 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 hang down and also the the screen I think this these guy this guy's pretty much. I know that the bottom should be this go like this. Here we go. Go like this. Oh boy. Go like this. Come on. There we go. Ah the weight of the of the clamp. No problem, Picani. So this is going to be like that. And it's this little leg got moved. You see this right here? Was the bottom straight? Let's see. Pretty much. But this this is not going to work because when I put the board here, this is going to be sticking out. Oh, there we go. It wasn't completely um, glued. So let's put some more glue here and put it back in here. I, I was gonna have an auction today, but I think I'm going to wait till Friday. Cause I, I don't, I don't want to keep you guys more than, than I have to. So we're going to do that one there. Push it in. There we go. Make sure this is flush or at least close to flush. Okay. Okay. There's the bar. I may put a shelf in the middle inside or not. I'm not sure. So this is... It's standing. It's standing pretty good. Okay, let's do the. Already have pieces cut over here, and it should be the. Why are you doing this to me? Tell me. Tell me why. Okay. That doesn't look straight, but we'll see. That's too short for some reason. Hmm. That's probably why it's, it's not straight. Okay. Let's measure the sides. Mm -hmm. That is three and a half inches tall. The green is going that way. Okay. Make sure it was going the same way. Pencil. There you are. Get away. Yeah, three and a half.
ASMR cutting wood. This is why I like this, the, the thinner wood, because you can do that. I think I need, I need one more, one more slice. This one came off the, over here, so I'll use this side over here. There we go. Close your knife. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Now. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. And I want to cover the side here, this piece here. I want to cover it. Since I made it even with this, so I just want to make it where it covers that up. So we're going to measure from the outside of this to the outside of that. And the ruler is right here. So that is two and one eighth. Yes, two and one eighth. So this is a this is the right height, right? Yeah. Okay. And two and one eighth. And I, I would I would um measure both sides separate because you, you never know if anything was actually ninety degrees since some of the some of those um clamps moved on me. So I'll I'll measure and glue this side and then I'll measure and glue the other side. And then we'll do the top. I think the top I'm gonna to use the eighth inch board and do look do like a um a couple inch overhang so it's not not like a box box sort of looking. You know what I mean? Okay. I appreciate all of you guys watching still. I didn't mean for it to be this long. I'm not sure exactly what what made it long or the, the drawing process. If if, the, if there are steps that that you you would have me say you can you can do off screen and just bring the the pieces all cut or all glued or we don't need all the all the of what am I creating? I am creating a bar. This is this is the the, the back side of the bar, and um, it's going into my miniature game room. So this piece goes right here, and I did I did measure right, and it's not two and a, two and an eighth. It says two and a quarter, or did or did I miss? Oh no, I moved it. It's a two and an eighth, not two and a quarter. Two and an eighth makes it a big difference. Is it measure twice, cut once? Well, I didn't do that, so we're cutting twice. Oh, that 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 just did a weird old wonky thing there. You hear it's about to about to cut. Ah. Let's see. There we go. And sand that edge.
Let's see if Nancy did this right. That looks much better now. That piece got somewhat messed up, so we're going to flip it and see if it still fits this way. No, it doesn't because this is a little off there. But we'll fix that in a second. We're going to... I told you that not necessarily 90 degrees. But if anybody gets into my miniatures to to re figure that out, they're a little too too close for comfort. You know what I mean? piece there we go get I think I need to get some more glue that's all dried up let's add a little bit another dollop of glue not that much of a dollop. Jeez, I don't need that much glue. Ick, ick, ick. It is all over the place. So we're going to put glue here and uh, along that piece, that that um, front board, because this is going to be gluing on top of that front board. And again, this guy moved on me. Or that's the other side. We'll see. The top my the top my um cover it up so if it's if it's not flush. We'll see. Not too bad. Yeah, the the top will cover it up. And is this flush in the front? That's flush in the front. Let's we'll see. Oh, I was going to get some, some clothespins. I have the regular size over here. Just put it like that. They make perfect little clamps. And I have like four different sizes. The only thing is that I can't clamp at the bottom, but the, as you can tell, it's, it's sitting nice and flush. And this one's fine. So we'll just sit those there. Next. Let's measure this guy because you, you, you never know. It says two and an eighth, so let's do two and an eighth. But I did this side over here. Oh, that one. Let's clean this edge up here. It didn't, didn't cut straight there. And I'll do all the details next week as well. Where I wanted to do the the raised panels and stuff. That didn't work. So I'll do the this side and then the the countertop. And that will be it for today. It didn't work. It didn't clean that edge up. Hold on. Come on. My blade's crooked or something. There we go. Now we measure two and an eighth. Two and one eighth. Two and one eighth. 
end quote. Make sure that's lined up there and the lines are lined up. And we score and score. And it's about three or four times. Or five. Or six. There we go. I'm I'm going to um do some raised panels on the front here. And then I'll, I'll use my, let's see, probably the antique wax. And, and we'll, we'll see how it looks. And we'll go from there. The that piece there. Oh, you see this guy is not, not wanting to stay. Why are you not wanting to stay? There we go. You're going to stay in a second because you're going to be glued to this piece. Uh, okay. I'm going to have to fill in this this side over here because it's not flush for some. That's probably why it's not flush because you kept kept on moving on me. Little bugger. So we're going to line this up here because it's still. Hold on. Let's see. Stay. Okay, it's a little too big on top here. I guess when I was gluing these guys up, something was not 90 degree. But that's fine. We roll with it. We keep on rolling, rolling, rolling. Okay, that didn't work. It got got stuck there. So let me put this back here and do it again. Oh my goodness. Why you gotta be so hard? Making things not easy. Yeah, it wouldn't be challenging. If everything was easy, right? Miss Dorothea, right, Miss Butterwell Boutique? Then we we'll put this back here. And now we go blue. Yeah, when, when you want something to, to, to go quick, nice and easily, Especially when you're on a live, it's like all, all the all the um the problems happen on a live. It's like when when you're recording something, you can you can go back and record and re-record and whatever, but on a live, um, you have to keep on going. Dorothea, Miss Dorothea, I'm. I've seen you in other chats and stuff. Where are you from? Inquiring minds want to know. Me. Get another clip. One another clip. Right here. Okay. And then we get another one. And put it up here. So this piece ends up going to this. So that, that way, if it if it moves, it's already attached to the to the to that one. So there we go. So as that's drying, I think I need to put a clamp right there, or I didn't. I don't think I I put some glue in there. Hold on. Let's put some glue in here, in between there and there. 
let's use our fingers. Let's use our fingers, guys. No big deal using your fingers. Get into your art. There we go. Now we're going to do this with a bigger clamp. She's from Memphis, Tennessee. Oh, no. It was big enough before, but because of the of the pieces of board that we put here, it's not big enough. I, I have something else that I could probably use. Let's see if, if that's big enough. We have done this before, but I don't know if these are big enough for that. Let's cut this. No, this is not. I was going. I use. I usually ha have bigger ones than this to to wrap around and use as as wrap around clamps, but it's not big enough. Well, maybe. It's, would it be big enough to do this? Nope, it's not. Oh well, I tried. Is it big enough to do this? No, it's not. Okay, so we're just gonna have to hold it for a second there. With our oh, here, this is the perfect clamp right here, and it's free. What do you guys think? You like the, that new clamp that I, I, I just brought out? So this side should be dry. So we move these guys out. Out of the way. There you go. There you go. Thank you. Okay, nice and... I'll probably do a, a, another piece right here. Small piece. I'm not sure yet. We'll see how it looks. Okay, I think that's that's pretty good. Like I said, there's a little gap here, but I'll use some some of my spackling and we'll we'll close that a little gap there, or even with paint or or the or the frame that I do. We'll see. Now we're gonna do the the countertop, and I'm gonna cut that out of the eighth inch. Close the knife, Nancy. Out of the eighth inch board because I want it thicker. So I want to go. Three inches is a quarter inch here. Thank you. So I want to do like a three inch overlay overhang on the on three sides. The back side I want it flush. So I need this four and three quarters by Two, one, two, three, two and th three eighths. Let's do the four and three quarters first. Ah, don't want to break that. Let's move that that way. And here's the big board. And this way, right? Which side was it's easier to cut? I can't remember now. Oh, oh well, we'll 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 find out. Um, again, measure twice, cut once, four and three quarters. So that's four and three quarters. I'm just cut, gonna cut it across because it's easier just to cut in one piece. Okay. Slide. Okay, get my. This ruler I usually use as a cut, but the the little metal bar that goes in here broke off, so I need to get a new new ruler. I use this every now and then to cut smaller pieces, but for the long pieces like this, I'll just get out my metal ruler and cut. Open the blade. Okay. 
good enough to snap. Let's see. Let's see if we can snap. Oh, I think I need to do it one more time. I'll show you three more times. Close knife. There we go. Okay. Sam, Sam, Sam. I snapped it too much. I, I, I should have cut it a little bit more because it, it, it ripped some of the, the wood there. But it's going to be on the inner side, so... Okay. Don't do what I just did because I, I figured I could have I could have gotten a splinter. <laughs> so th these guys can go in my jar of clothes plates. There we go. This is my jar of clothes pins. I found this at, at Salvation Army. I found this at Dollar Tree. I glued it together. And now it's my clothespin holder. It wasn't my clothespin holder, but I needed something to put my clothespins in, and it became my clothespin holder. So we're going to do a dry fit real quick. Yeah, that's good. That's good. That's good. Okay. And let's measure this again. And we wanted it a quarter. Uh, let's see. Hold on. How did I measure this last time for the width? Okay. One, two, three eighths. Two and three eighths. Two and three eighths deep. Thank you. So you got one, two, and three eighths. One, two, and three eighths. I like putting my stuff in jars where I can see them. I just have to figure out how to um, arrange my stuff so I can have all my jars out. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because I have I have so much stuff. But we'll see. Lots, lots of lots of um. Things that I need to, to figure out in the new year. This is the one that will take a while to get through. But work smarter, not harder. Don't 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 mess up your hand. Like I did with when I was working in the craft room. I was trying to, to press hard, hard, hard to get to, to cut the wood faster. So, see that one not ready to snap. So we're, we're gonna cut a few more. And that's what when I ended up with uh, about two weeks of not being able to do any work because my hand, my wrist, was very very sore. So I just just do several more passes instead of trying to hurt myself. Nancy, I love how this is coming together. Thank you. Snap, crackle, pop. I'm not gonna do it now because it's a, a too too much sanding. I need to put, bring out my Dremel, but I'm gonna I wanna round off these three edges here. That that's gonna go up here. I wanna round these off. You know. Sort of like a bull nose sort of thing. So let's get this party glued down. Let's put some glue all over these guys here. I put my clips away. I can use use the clips right here. For some reason, this guy didn't never did want want to. He is he is glued down now. I'm gonna put glue on. 
I'm gonna put glue on the edge of the of the actual frame, the the boards that I glue on the front, because that's what, some of them are not even. So we'll glue wherever we can. Okay, the, the, I'm double checking this to make sure that it's pretty okay. Okay, so again, I'm, I'm doing it flush to the back. So I'm going to make sure that that's flush first. So I'm going to stand it up like that. Make sure they're even on both sides. Okay, there's, it's, you see it even. A quarter inch all the way around and it's it's not flush with this board but it's flush with the legs so that's that's fine with me so now we're going to i guess it, i could have used the clips and put them away there we go and then for this part here grab some of this Put it right on top. Thank you. Like I said, I, I may, who knows where are they? I got, you know, little pieces of that I, I can put, make a, I'll do it right here. Cut pieces like this and, you know, go like this, you know, make a pattern or something. So it's not just flat. Okay. The 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 free clamp is the, is the one working here. And then once I this we could put this in in the green room and see how it looks. Thank you. We lost a few people, but I'm sorry. I didn't mean for it to last this long today. Hey, YT Chris. What type of glue am I using? I am using Gorilla Glue Wood Glue. But I usually use a Dollar Tree Wood Glue, which works the same just as well i just didn't have access to dollar tree wood glue because um they, they don't sell through my amazon so that's what i have now happy new year you gain one now thank you chris <laughs> okay i think this is it sets up pretty quick you see how it's sturdy so we're gonna take those clips out Okay, like I said, right here, I'm gonna fill in the, the little gap there, or maybe with the frame or something. I wish every day you were doing tiny days, but I would never get any work done. Hi, Adele. She was late. Oh no, but um, it, even if you're late, you get one of these, Adele. And other lurkers out there. I know there's several. Okay, close the knife. Nancy keeps on forgetting to do that. Very, very important. So we're going to move some things around so I can bring the game room over. And we can, it, it, it looks like a, a, a podium or something. But like I said, I'm going to, I'm going to, you know, add details on the side and another stuff. And then I'm going to round these corners, make it nice and rounded. So you guys, let me.
I pushed the wrong button again, guys. I meant to switch the camera, not to not to leave studio. There we go. Sorry. <laughs> it's right there, right, you know, close to the. So here is the empty game room. Okay. I finished the brick wall um, today off screen. Cause if you want to know how I made the brick wall, I have a video um, when I was making the bedroom that shows how I made, I did the brick wall. So it, it's, it's, it's the same exact brick wall, same exact way. Then we add it and there's something back here, clamps. Clamps, clamps are, when I don't need them, they're, they're there. But when I need them, they're, they're hiding. Okay, slide back. Okay, we added the, these two little shelves here. So that when we put this guy here, right, we have little shelves to put stuff back there. So we got that there. I know I didn't. Say, I said I was I wasn't gonna glue anything down, but I, when I, when I saw the brick wall and the and the the thumbnail, I go, oh, that, that that's what that's where I want my bar. Up against there so we're going to then we have the jukebox which like i said once we get the other stuff in we'll we'll figure it out the popcorn machine oh my it's getting it's getting crowded in here the pac-man machine you just focus on the popcorn machine why can't you fo focus on this guy there we go Pack machine machine. It's getting crowded in here, guys. We have a game table. We have one of three stools for the game table. So Nancy has to work on the other three stools. It goes right there. We have a dartboard. Where is? Uh, uh, there we go. Oh, it's upside down. It's magnetized. See the little magnets right there. There's the, the dartboard. So, did you hear that? Did you hear that? This side didn't mag didn't work as well, but that, that's fine. It stays closed. So we got the dartboard. We have the magnetic Scrabble board. It's got, it's, it got all moved around when I, so these actually move. They're, all, they're actually magnetic because this is a metal behind the scrubber board. So this is gonna go behind where the the TV, the movie screen or the projector screen is gonna go in front of this. When is it, and when it's not used, you have the game board. But, but, um, when I show you the, the, the room now, it's getting tight. <laughs> I'm not sure if all of this is going to fit in here or, or we're going to have to have like an annex or something. Um, we got the two, the, the movie posters that I want to put above here. So we're going to put the, the Star Wars in the middle and then the two hot Audrey Hepburns on either side of that. So it's going to go go look at these it's gonna be high, higher up in the, on the wall so it doesn't get hidden like that Let's see what, what else did we, did we what, what else have we made we're gonna do the floor next week we're gonna finish the bar next week I think that's that's all we've made right but what look at this it looks like a hoarders lives here so I, <laughs> I'm thinking, because I'm thinking that the projector would be on this wall. So this, this will be here on this wall. You can't see, hold on. Up against this wall here. So the projector would go in front of it, right? Something like that. So that'll be on that wall. I, I don't think we have room for our pigment machine. Hold on this. 
I don't think it's this door over here is, is not wide enough for it to be right here at the edge. Like that. I don't know. Because it's 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 right there. But I'll show you show you how much it overlaps a little bit. I see about two inches or so. So this is gonna go like this with the little chairs right there. Hmm. But I want a bar. Did I make the bar too big? So you got the popcorn machine, the jukebox, the game table. I don't even know where, where to put the dartboard now. What I was thinking with the, with to to hang the like that, yeah, it fits better there. Yeah, that could work. The, the, the popcorn machine is. Hello, Aisha. The popcorn machine is not going to um, be glued down because, you know, it has wheels. So I, I can move it anywhere in the room when I'm, when I'm taking pictures. But it, it's it's the, width, it's the width of this. Actually, a little less than that op opening there. And then these guys are similar in shape so that they look good next to each other. I'm gonna have to put the, the scrabble board towards the center of the of this wall over here so I can put the dart board to the right of it. That can work. And again, these don't get glued down or it. I, I don't think I'm gonna glue any of these machines down just in case I wanna you know add add stuff later on. But for the projector and for the the screen. I was thinking of building a frame above here like this with the the square dowels, right? Do about two. I don't know if I have enough for three, but in, enough that that I can I can do something like this this way, and one over here to hang the the projector screen from there, and then the the projector. From another one over here. So that that's that's what I'm thinking. Because in, in order to do the drop down screen, unless I unless I do the drop down screen, you know, away from the the wall, like like um brackets or something, so I I can do something like this away from the wall and do the drop the drop down screen from there and then the the projector is you know in your imagination we'll see but it's getting there so this this is what we did today and and I, like I said I'm gonna I want to do some some panels raised panels or something let's see what kind of detail I can get and then round the corners and then I may put a shelf in here or not because you're not going to see it because it's going to be right there but you know me I, I, I have to go, go a little bit above <laughs> uh, hold, hold on let's put let's put the little lemonade lemonade glasses on the counter here, see how they look. Where they go? They're so small. They're, they, 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 they. Where they go? Oh no! Hold on. Let's, we, we, we gotta hunt for the little lemonade glasses. Hold on. They were they were on my desk. Oh, there they are. I see them. I see one. Where's the other one? Uh oh. I see one. Where's the other? There it is. There it is. I see. 
No, that's not it. Where'd it go? Oh. There it is. Lemonade. Lemonade. Well, I could put, I could put one of the Coca Cola bottles on the, on the on the shelf. Let's see it. Let's see how this looks. Hold on. Let me let me go up. Let's see. Projector hats for raspberry. Mm. You mean to put a, a, a real um screen in there? I mean, image. I can't I can't hide at a side, side room because these are sitting on, on my my Calyx units and there's no room next to the, these guys to this one here unless I rearrange things and and you don't like the Scrabble board YT Chris or it's in the wrong spot. Thank you, Sandra. Thank you, Darcia. It's a dress. Earl got it for me the other day. It's got pockets. Yes, for a real project. Yes, th that's what I thought. Who knows if it if it's not too expensive? You can just make a second, M Miss Connie. I have. Um, I don't know. I wish I had an actual dollhouse that I'd be making these rooms into, but they're inside my Calyx unit. It's just, yeah, because I wanted to be, because I saw um on a game room that had a, a giant size Scrabble board up against the wall. Right? So that that they can play on the on the wall itself, or you could use a tiny screen and just fake it with a projector with dim light built in. Yeah, um, that's what I am doing, Miss Robin. That's what I said when that when I built this. This is going to go on the wall behind the projector. So when the projector is not rolled down. You can see the Scrabble game, and when you're watching a movie, you're not, you're not what you're not playing Scrabble. I like that you can you can make a, a movie room if you have room. Well, the next room that they want um they want me to make is um a bathroom, and that's that's the space that's left over on my shelf. And here's the, the the little lemonade um things we can put lemonade. Where is it? I put the lemonade. Oop. Lemonade right there. And I was going thinking of, of grabbing one of the 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 jar large. You need cards and chips. Mm -hmm. Uh, maybe cards, but I don't know about chips. <laughs> I may do the, the, the little, um, whatchamacallit. Put the bottles, like, right there, look. Ta-da. I may have to do... No, it's okay. I thought it was leaning forward, but it's not. Just a little bit. I don't know, maybe I had to put a little a little dowel here or something. Oh, you know what? I can I can paint them um like metal and put and put a piece from here to here and then a piece from here to the ground. So it looks like pipes holding the, the, the shelf up. A few di diamond drills for chips. Oh yeah. You, you guys I keep up forgetting about that diamond drills. And some cats and dogs will play poker. Hold on. We got you there. 
where, where, where are they? Oh, they're, they're in the library. I saw like the game clue. We got dog. We can sit right there. And then when we get the other chair, we got a cat. Right there. He got he got hurt. He fell. Where is he? His ear. He's he's in he got one one ear less. But he's he's still he's still my buddy there. And real miniature cats so we can eat them. Oh the, the candies are coming too. I ha I have um some printable shrink it shrink plastic that I can print on my 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 inkjet printer and I can shrink them. But I'm not gonna do real candy. But I like the pipes idea that it gives it gives it more stability here because you see right here, I don't know if you can tell, it's a little wobbly still. But if I if I I, I got some um these guys here. These guys here, and I can paint them with the, with the metallic paint, and it'll, it'll look like that, right? But it, it'll it'll get cut from this one to here, like it's going through the through the shelf. Just put a little hat on him, cover his boo boo ear. I can make an itty itty bitty hat. Yes, I can make it even really half. Um, yes, yeah, shrinky dink, and it's printable. So I, I I I did it on my in my craft room, um, miniature craft room where I did the the cutting board and the the paper sh paper um shredder. So I can I can um I want to make some little candies. Where's the paper? So you're able to print it and then shrink it. Here's the the, the miniature paper shredder. I mean paper cutter. Guards and ships on a poker table. Mm. I have I have these that 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 I printed out that. A mic drop. I got a sorry game and a Monopoly game with all the cards and stuff. So that, that'll that probably be something that I can I need to get some shelving or something or other. We'll, we'll figure it out. Can a Coke bottle fit in one of the drink holes on the poker table? I believe it can. But these are one... These are one inch bottles, so they're they're one foot bottles. So if if it's like having, because this even this cup is not one one foot, is it? Here we go. Because this cup is, where is it? Eight inches tall, and this bottle is a, a foot tall. But it, it would it would fit fit right there. You see? I I do have different punch holes, Mr. Mr. YT Chris. I have those. I'll show you. I got itty bitty one and a in a in a bigger one. Cause I have the regular regular punch hole. So I could probably use I don't know if you can t see that one right there. That is probably an eighth or less. It's, it's right up around an eighth of an inch, that one. And then this one here is a sixteenth of an inch. See? I don't know if you can tell. This one is itty bitty. See that one? That's that's a sixteenth. That's an eighth. And I also have the bigger ones. 
You can cover them with embossing ink and powder them to shiny to make them. I've made buttons like that. I don't have embossing ink, but I do have um, UV UV resin. Good night, um, Liz. I'm sorry. I'm looking at the name, and I just poker cards, Nancy. Okay, Billy, I get you. I'll make, I'll get some poker cards in there somehow, somewhere. I just have to find some down the, the, the right size and sh and shrink it and and hopefully I have enough ink because it was screaming at me this week when I was printing some some things. Oh, it's quick. Speaking of printing some things, I was getting getting my my stuff ready. We we can we can um that that can stay right there. So yeah, I have more more cork, which is which is what I use here, but I don't have the paint to to make more to match. So it would have been. So we're going to move this guy to his spot. There we go. Oops. Don't want to lose that. Well, I can make a um the grid with some corrugated cardboard like I did the walls. That can work too. That's an idea. But some of these items will be at the at the um, auction on Friday. I was going to do it today, but this is getting long as it is. I was getting my, my projects ready, you know, my, my calendar. I was getting all that stuff organized, my list of projects. Here's another item for the auction. Another auction, item for the auction. It's it's mainly um Valentine's this time, but I have my baskets for my projects. This one is Miss Pajama Quilter. I got the pattern in here. I got the yarn that I'm gonna be using. So that that sits on my desk. My these, my works in project in progress, and this is for the Impkin that the subscribers picked. So I have all the colors colors there to start making the impkin. Where is it? I, I didn't have another basket for this last one, but it's somewhere. See, that's why I want baskets because they, they don't they don't um they don't hide. Where are you? I have another project that I have with it. No. Over here. Oh my. I guess it doesn't want to be re revealed yet. Because um, it was right here. Next to this one. Right here. It was in a Ziploc bag. Oh, here it is. I'm using the Just Chenille yarn, the brown one, to make that one. Not, I won't be using those eyes because I, I don't have access to those eyes, but I'm going to be making a little Highland cow. So I have all the yarn here ready for that and the pattern right there. So everything's nice and organized. Ready for me to go and work, but th that's not the, the, the. I have several other projects, but let's see if I can get this arm to 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 behave. Hold on. Sorry, guys. Told you it was broken. I'm gonna just leave it the way it is. If it looks weird on on screen, cause Oh well. Huh. I'm just gonna leave it like that because it's. It, oh, I forgot the, the posters to go back in the 
in the game room. But you see it right here? That's where the game room is. Then you got the bedroom right above. And you got the living room next to it. The bathroom is going to be right here next to the, the, the game room. And then on the other side, we have the laundry room, kitchen, library, and craft room. And that's, that's what's coming up. I'm not sure how much of that I'm going to be recording or showing you guys or just giving you um, shorts with um, some updates. A lot, a lot, a lot. I'm, just, I'm super sleepy, so I'm going to, to go good night all. Good night, Miss Connie. Thank you for coming. Maybe hold punch cardstock glued to another cardstock to mold and add color to UV resin. I can do that. Crystal says, I love your, your game room. It's coming along so well. Thank you. I thought you were making Monopoly cards. Monopoly cards? Uh, I don't know. Is, isn't that what, what what's on, the, on here? It's Monopoly, right? Yeah, Monopoly. It's got the little Monopoly cards too. Look. So I need to find a, a, a printable that has um some some playing cards. You need an itty bitty chip mold. <laughs> I, I, I can figure something out. Let me see right here. If you, if you rotate this enough times, there's, where is it? You can't see it. There's my UV resin. This one's almost empty, but this one's, this one's new. Again, hold on, guys. Hold on. This, this bitch. Sorry. <laughs> Earthquake. Nancy needs a new arm. Not 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 physically a new arm. The the for the camera. I don't like it that where it lands right there. But stay. Oh, hi there. Go down 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 down. There we go. Okay, let's, let's see. Okay, we, we've got the embossing thing. Let's go back down. Okay. Yes, Highland Cow. Earthquake. Yes, it was an earthquake. Am I in Japan? <laughs> Why? Because it was an earthquake? And I want to thank Miss Pam for this beautiful cup that her friend made. I'll get I'll get her her friend's link and put it in the descri description box below. Beautiful, very very beautiful. I think I'm right out of water. Now we know what spin drying socks experience. <laughs> I give you a little bit of everything here. So Friday, I am going to be doing polymer clay. Not only just polymer clay, I am going to recreate my wedding cake. Fingers crossed, it comes out okay. So um, Earl drank all. The yeah, he was drinking all the water, and and he didn't refill it. That's that's fine. That's just fine. But um, I'm pr I printed the the cake out. I need to to do some measurements so I know. I'm not sure what size I want. I don't want it too big. So I don't know. Um, because it has daisies on it too. And then I'm going to, cause um, they made a a three tier cake for the for the the wedding, and then they made a little cake sugar free cake for me. So I might make the sugar-free cake where you can cut a slice out and, and see the, the inside. 
I know I have I have a lot of um, goals and aspirations, but if you don't try it once, you, you can't say you didn't. You, you, it worked or not, it didn't work. I've never made a cake before out of polymer clay. I have plenty of polymer clay. I, I may have to paint the polymer clay because um the cake was white with um yellow daisies on it, and I don't think the only only clay I have that's white is the translucent, which is it's not gonna look very nice when it when, when it bakes. So we might have to um, paint that after it bakes. But the so so I need to figure out what size cake because I'm I'm not I'm not planning on doing you know teeny tiny daisies like this. So I need to figure out what's the easiest way to to make them and what size. But it's gonna be fun. So if anybody wants to join me on Friday on panel, you don't have to be working with polymer clay. You can work with any crafting as long as people can see what you're doing and you're interacting with each other on the panel and on in the, in the craft and the chat. I mean, so um, just, just send me a message on Instagram and you can be part of my panel on Friday, which is craft with me. And this is weekly challenge. My weekly challenge is polymer clay. But for you guys, you can craft with me. So that's what I'm doing. Well, I, th this is new. I've had this this charm for uh, years. It's, it's it's got a glass heart on it, and I've, I've been wanting to figure out what to do with it. And then I go, oh, I could just put a picture of me, me and Earl in it. And this is the same picture that that John is cutting, and it's the same picture that I have on my profile on my Facebook. It lays right there. My 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 heart's next to my heart. <laughs> Yay, craft with me. Yes. So I think that that's it for today. It took a while today. But I, I think that, that that bar came out cute. And um like I said, we'll see if we have time for the auction on Friday or or I don't know. We'll see. Because I don't want it, it to, to drag out too long for you guys. So one more lurker video for my friends. Hello, I'm back. We got dancing, dancing. And I, I, I know it's not Christmas, but I need to see my dancing gingerbread one more time before the end of the before Christmas comes in. So this is just because I like to see my dancing gingerbread. be making the in the prayers this year for the third annual 25 days of Christmas DIYs. He's too cute. And with that note, I have a new ending. So check it out. Stay for a few seconds. It's, it's a little longer than usual, but it's fun. And I'll see you on Friday. So be brave, be strong and create. Oh, it's it's over there. The 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 game room bar. <laughs> I usually show it, but I don't feel like getting up. Okay. Later, everyone. <laughs>